Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 12th to the 18th of November 2018. We begin the week with 11.11 and this year stands out. Not only is this on a Sunday, but Jupiter has just gone home to Sagittarius and this is an amplification of our true vibration of consciousness. So as I said last week, 11 is the number of Aquarius, the 11th sign of the Zodiac, which corresponds to the star card in tarot. And this 11.11 is on a Sunday, so all of that bright light, we've done a lot of releasing, we've cleared up, got rid of all the debris and the blockages, so that we can actually be amplified now. There's a lot of space, freedom and independence swirling around this week. On Monday the moon is in Capricorn, so this is a wonderful day because it's been very hectic, it's been a whirlwind over the last week. This is a wonderful day to be still and to integrate everything that we've experienced. So a day for hibernation, inner reflection, rejuvenation and core strength on Monday. There is still time for more releasing though. This is the beginning of a process. So I've been speaking lately about ancestral baggage. Baggage you may have picked up in your past lives or even in this life. But we can continue that process of releasing anything that's dense, anything that's served us, anything that's ready to go because the goal now is to feel lighter and brighter and more spacious inside. By Wednesday we have Mars in the last day of Aquarius. So since May, Mars has been going in and out of Aquarius, between Aquarius and Capricorn, electrifying our energy field, brightening up our energy body and burning out old structures, old belief patterns, old ways of thinking. And this has been pretty intense, but as Mars gets ready to leave Aquarius on Wednesday, maybe have a look at how you're thinking in a new fashion now, how you're more independent, better researched, able to challenge old structures and stand on your own two feet. The week then speeds up again by Thursday we have Mars moving into Pisces, leaving Aquarius and going into Pisces. And this is a combination of pure spiritual depth. So are you ready to immerse yourself to the etheric waters of your soul? Are you willing to broaden your perspective to a multi-lifetime one, not competing and checking the clock in a single lifetime perspective, but actually opening up to what you're here for this time? And this is a great opportunity to connect with your soul plan, which is your birth chart, to really find out who you are, what you came here to be and to contribute and to reconnect with all of your inner universe. By Friday we have a double energy as Mercury turns retrograde in Sagittarius and Venus turns direct in Libra. So Mercury in Sagittarius is incredibly truthful. You have the processing mind firing that precision arrow of wisdom. So both of these aspects call for simplicity and freedom freedom of the mind and the heart. But Mercury will go in and uproot and examine core philosophies and beliefs, the bigger stuff, not really the personal stuff so much, but the core philosophies that we found our life on and the higher mind, and how it attaches to beliefs or liberates itself from beliefs. So we have an opportunity to question everything and this is until the 7th of December and we'll go through to the winter solstice with the direct phase at the end as well. So from now till the 7th of December we can turn the conscious sword of the mind inwards to look for and to express and to warrior and to champion real freedom of the mind. So we're out of the Scorpio phase now as far as Saturn and Jupiter have been concerned over the last three years. We've done all the digging into the subconscious brought everything out for cleansing and now this is going to be connecting with universal truths, for standing up for what's real and for knowing our own selves, our true vibration and our higher mind. Venus turning direct in Libra. Venus has been retrograde since the 6th of October and now turns direct. This has gone back from Scorpio to Libra, the home sign of Venus, to hold up a mirror to us especially regarding our relationship to self and other. So where Mercury will be inspecting the higher mind, Venus has cleaned out the heart realm, deconditioning 
from lower feelings, dependency and need. And now as she goes forward, we're more sovereign in our relating to self and other. From self-acceptance and self-love of the true self to allowing others to be themselves and creating bonds of soul flow rather than need and dependency. So a double there on Friday. Maybe keep your diary light because that's quite intense with Mercury going retrograde inwards and Venus going direct with the outward expression of all that we've learned since early October. Then by the weekend, once again, we have a chance to integrate and reflect. The theme here really is impartial observation. So many people rush to form an opinion from an emotional insecurity or fear, looking outwards, taking things personally, and then developing a state of victimhood or belittlement inside. But objectivity is vital with this Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius and Jupiter in Sagittarius. So before we rush to form opinions or to agree with the opinions of those in our safety group, then check, can you be a free thinker? Mental sovereignty is on the line here. This will be the core lesson of the Mercury retrograde, taking us through, like I say, to late December. But very important as far as our self-realization is concerned, aligning with universal truth and being the beacon for that. So a very important week. Be still where you can. Be gentle with yourself. Do the work daily. But there are some huge energies coming here which can be worked with very deeply, very liberating, very simple and very independent. So this is the perfect time to connect with your soul plan, to realise your inner universe, to reconnect with your true vibration and to amplify to the world. So if you'd like to look at your chart, your soul plan, I am available one-to-one -one or online. We can reconnect you with your sovereignty, with your majesty, with your unlimitedness and help point that in a direction of purpose and contribution. So please feel free to contact me on email zoehind7 at gmail.com on Facebook or Instagram, astrozo or zoehind7 in that order. Or come and check my website, www.astrozo.com. I'd love to connect with you. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.